guys, Angie here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create t-shirt designs that sell on Etsy without being a graphic designer. And we're gonna do that together today using a platform called Creative Fabrica. If you have looked into the t-shirt market at all, you will know that graphic tees continue to raise in demand every single year. Year by year by year, it continues to grow. And this is a business model that can yield hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue for you every single year. So this is your opportunity to jump into this market, get a slice of the pie, and do it in a very simple and efficient way. Now today's video is sponsored by Creative Fabrica, and they did reach out to me. However, I am so incredibly thankful that they did because I am just in love with this platform now, and this is gonna save me so much time and energy moving forward with my print-on-demand t-shirt business. And I know you're gonna be just as excited as I am when I show you how this works today. Um, so all of the opinions that I'm sharing in today's video are 100% my own. Um, and you guys are going to see me using this a lot more moving forward on this channel because it is fabulous. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger step by step. Hey guys, Angie here, and on this channel, I help Etsy sellers to get their listings ranked so that they can ultimately get more sales and scale that business to six figures and beyond. If you aren't already, make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time that I release a new video to help you succeed on Etsy. All right, so before we go ahead and get started with using this platform today to create our amazing designs, I just wanted to let you know about the $1 trial, which is so exciting because you can get access to everything on this site here, which is over five million million designs and you can get unlimited download access. You're going to get the commercial license for that so that you can use it on your designs on Etsy and you can cancel at any time with no questions asked. So this is a total no brainer, 5 million designs for just $1. So this is a limited time offer. So make sure you go ahead and scoop this up. This was designed just for you guys. So you can access this through my link directly below in the description box or on angielong.com. So the very first thing that we need to do before going into Creative Fabrica to find done for you designs is to get inspiration from current bestsellers on Etsy. Now, when I think of what to sell on Etsy, I like to think of current or upcoming trends or holidays. A holiday that is coming up is Halloween. That is gonna be the next big holiday. So I typed in Halloween shirt. Now. Etsy is gonna go ahead and pull up some of their most popular designs right away. And you can just kind of scroll through and get an idea of what is trending and popular right now for Halloween. And usually the ones on the first few pages are the top sellers. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick one. I like this one, I love coffee. And we can see um, this one is a bestseller. If we scroll down, we can see that this item has had uh, 14 reviews, and so there is a lot more sales than those 14, uh, because not everyone on Etsy is going to leave a review. This is a super cute shirt, and what I'm noticing here is that this is a bestseller, and they only have one, two, three, four photos. If I was doing this listing, I would have listed 10 different photos. So there is an area where we can actually um, beat out this person with our listing by doing it a little bit better because Etsy sellers are very visual and they want to see the sweatshirt styled in all sorts of different ways from different angles and um, that's going to help them make their decision. But the good news is that's already a bestseller with literally only four photos. This is one design that we're going to take inspiration from. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to the search and find just one more. To save time, I went ahead and scrolled through all of the Halloween shirts and found another one. This is a very simple design with just pumpkins and this is listed as 
Etsy's pick by their style and trend editors. And if we scroll down, this item has 109 reviews, which is a really great sign. You can see their customers sharing photos there and um, they too don't haven't used all 10 photos so uh, you want to make note that when you are doing your listing you want to take up all of this retail space for photos and include 10. let's go ahead and hop over to creative fabrica now and look for some graphics that we could use in our t-shirts using inspiration from these right we don't want to look for the exact graphics and copy this to a t we want to go ahead and snag some of these graphics and then go ahead and add to it a little bit ourselves over on Canva. So once you have signed up for your $1 trial and you log into your account, you can go ahead and type in your inspiration term right here in the search bar. I typed in autumn coffee uh, because we want to model that first shirt that we saw with the four different coffees. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and click on special license for print on demand. Now, what's really funny is you can see right here, this is almost identical to the design that we saw on the bestseller over on Etsy. Uh, you could technically, if we click on this, read the license, it says commercial and full print on demand usage allowed. So technically, you could download this and put this on a shirt and sell it on Etsy because you will have the full license to do so. I personally don't like to copy a bestseller that much uh, because there's nothing really that's gonna set you apart too much from that other seller that is already uh, fully into the algorithm as a bestseller. So we're just gonna take some inspiration from this and do a slightly different design. I am gonna go ahead and scroll through here and just see what else that we can find when it comes to autumn coffee drink. Here's one that says, happy fall, y'all. It has a pumpkin and some uh, coffee beverages, a few other things. I think that is a super cute design and it looks like they give you a few different versions of this so and this gives you commercial and full print on demand usage so what i'm going to do with this is go ahead and download it and then i'm going to go ahead and go over to canva and upload it and i'm just going to add a few little extra details to it such as some stars maybe a few little extra leaves just to make it different right it's just going to set you apart a little bit like I said you could go ahead and just do it as is if you want to if you don't want to go that extra mile and put in that effort however today I'm going to show you what I would do I go ahead and click download it's going to download to my computer here and as soon as this is done downloading I'm going to grab our other inspiration photos before we head over to Canva I went ahead and typed in pumpkins and once again I selected the special license for print on demand and we're just going to scroll through until we find some pumpkins that we feel would be suited for our inspiration photo so here's some right here let's go ahead and take a look at these that will do so we have commercial full pod usage allowed so i'm going to go ahead and click download over on canva we're going to go ahead and do a custom size for our t-shirt design and i upload my designs to printify so they print the items on the t-shirt for me and ship those to my customer so they have recently updated their size requirements for their designs for t-shirts and that is 3600 by 4800 pixels so we'll go ahead and click create new design went ahead and uploaded my graphics into canva and i'm just going to go ahead and click on this one we're going to make it just a little bit bigger and then what i'm going to do is just add a few little details for the elements tab here on canva i typed in orange stars i'm just going to go ahead and add some stars to my design here go ahead and make this a bit smaller move it over here tilt it a bit just to change it up slightly and then I'm going to go ahead and click click control C and then we'll do control V. I'm going to move this 
over here. As you can see, I just have a few little extra stars added in there. You can do more if you want. If you wanna get a little bit creative with it and branch out, you can add to this however you would like. But as you can see, you do not have to be a designer to go ahead and get a really cool design from Creative Fabrica and then make it your own. Let's go ahead and do our pumpkin inspiration design here. We're just going to put our three different pumpkins on here, make them just a bit smaller. And then I'm going to add to this one as well. Our inspiration pumpkin one had four pumpkins just straight across. I'm going to do three different pumpkins and then I'm going to add maybe some fall leaves, maybe some stars. So I've typed in fall leaves. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and just drag them around, place them a few different places. I can copy and paste by Control C, Control V. To save time, I went ahead and put some more leaves and stars on here and I just made them a little bit smaller so it doesn't overtake the pumpkins. You can just go ahead and shrink those down to whatever size that you think would look good. And then you can also add text to this if you want. You can write Halloween. You could write Happy Fall, y'all, like the other one that we had. Any type of a fall writing that you wanna put here, go for it, right? Make this your own. But as you see, you do not have to be a talented graphic designer to take inspiration from a bestseller on Etsy, use a graphic from Creative Fabrica, and then add to it as you see fit. Then all you have to do to save your design is go over to Share, Download, and then you want to go ahead and select the one that you wanna download. Make sure that you select transparent background so that when you put it onto your shirt on Printify, there's not gonna be white behind it. It's going to be um, transparent back here. And the only thing that is going to print is your actual design itself. So I hope you received a ton of value from today's video. If you have any questions about how to use Creative Fabrica to make t-shirt designs, go ahead and comment those down below and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Also, do not forget to visit the description box below so you can snag that $1 trial and go ahead and get started making phenomenal, exciting, beautiful designs for t-shirts that you can sell on Etsy. It's $1 give it a try and you'll see how awesome it is just like I have. So thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you back soon. Super.